All right, let's go ahead and do uh, number 28, which was a request that was made. Uh, and this says, the Precision Scientific Instrument Company manufactures thermometers that are supposed to give readings of zero degrees Celsius at the freezing point of water. Tests on a large scale of these thermometers reveals that at the freezing point of water, some give readings below zero degrees denoted by negative numbers and some give readings above zero degrees denoted by positive numbers. Assume that the mean reading is uh, in zero degrees Celsius and the standard deviation of the readings is one degrees, one degree uh, Celsius. Also assume that the frequency distribution of errors closely resembles a normal distribution. A uh, thermometer is randomly selected and tested. Find the temperature reading corresponding to the given information. And then it says find Q3, the third quartile. And uh, one of the key features here is based on uh, the mean reading being zero degrees. That, mean th that means this here, is zero, that's the mu. Uh, that's my best attempt there at making a mu. Uh, it's zero. And then the other piece is the standard deviation of the readings is one. So if I go over one unit, this is one unit, uh, that's also the measurement of, of one one standard deviation. So one unit over is also one standard deviation. If you go back uh, one unit the other way, of course this is gonna be one. If you go back the other way, this is minus one, but that's gonna be one standard deviation to the left. So what we end up with then in this case is the, the very well-known uh, standard normal distribution, okay? In Q3, which is the same as a 75th percentile. And so uh, what they're asking for, and I, I'm, I'm really estimating because I'm not real sure where that's gonna fall. I uh, I'm really estimating. So I'm just gonna say it falls there. And uh, I'm gonna shade this in over here. And what we're gonna say is that that blue shading actually represents uh, 75% of of the data. And that's what we mean by the 75th percentile in this case. Okay, now 75% is also uh, 0.75. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a TI calculator. We're gonna use this uh, inverse normal and for the area, what you're gonna input here is 0 0.75, which is what goes with a 75th percentile. That's 0.75 is 75%. Now, if your screen looks like this, you're gonna put it in here, 0 0.75. And then the mu, uh, it's already in this one is zero and the standard deviation is one. If your screen looks like this, you're gonna put in, uh, and let me make it in red just so you can see it better. Mu is zero and standard deviation is one. Okay, so what, so I went ahead and ran it on my calculator and I got a 0 0.67. Zero. 0.67, let me finish this. this up. This is, this is where the 0 0.67 is. 
And then if you needed to know for some reason, the one is over here, but these are associated together. Okay, and that's how you do that problem.